All righty, so we have a really disappointing update. <laughs> I tried to sound exciting, I really did. I've been having like a really rough week. I'm trying to just turn this video into something that isn't so upsetting. Okay, so I have tea to share. I have an update about what just happened today with uh, our premiere announcing stage three and what that means. So I'm gonna quickly wrap this up so it's not a, a 15 minute video like my last rant. This is gonna be a rant. This is going to be an explanation, and this is going to be a what to expect moving forward. So, number one, stage three was announced. York Region is not included in that. Toronto's not included in that. Wonderland resides in York Region. So, Wonderland could not have opened this weekend regardless. So, that's the main point here. Wonderland could not have opened this weekend regardless. Um, the best next bet is next weekend. Now, there's a lot of talk going on, um, rumblings going on, that Wonderland already has submitted its health plans a while ago, and they've been approved. So, with that being said, um, if Wonderland, if Stage 3 for York Region does get announced on Monday, not the, this Monday, but next Monday, Wonderland could maybe, keywords maybe, open next weekend. The weird thing is the wording in the press conference today seemed like theme parks are going to be excluded all summer. So that's that's what's interesting. Now, what's even more interesting is Marineland and Canada's Wonderland both seem to have either thought or been told that they could open this weekend because we saw both theme parks announce, well, Wonderland didn't announce, but we saw Marineland announce a July 17th opening. I also knew um, through the grapevine that Wonderland was planning on opening July 17th. It seems like Wonderland keeps scheduling on the weekends, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, in hopes that it'll open, and when it doesn't, they just push it back. With that being said, we saw what happened in uh, Ohio. Cedar Fair ended up suing the government and calling them out. I fully expect that to happen. So what I think you're going to see is Canada's Wonderland now filing a lawsuit. I'm hearing rumblings and again everything i'm about to say in this next little bit is pure speculate speculation and my opinions and my thoughts okay we're hearing or we we think uh that canada's wonderland is going to probably open up a lawsuit and they might work with places like marineland uh we're hearing this because uh ripley's aquarium and the cn tower are opening um we're hearing that uh blue mountain has opened i think ripley's may have actually already opened because what I'm hearing is Ripley's is having its most successful days ever right now, but I don't know if that's true. So please take that bit of information as pure speculation and just my opinion. But I am hearing if um, Ripley's is open, they're having huge attendance increases because of this, and that does make sense. I think anything that opens right now that's outdoors or giving people something to do um, that isn't limited limited is having um, huge increases. Uh, I think a lot of people are looking for something to do, but we're hearing that Blue Mountain uh, is Mountain Roller Coaster is open. You can walk through a haunted house in Niagara Falls. You can now go ride a roller coaster in Niagara Falls. So the argument that we're hearing that's about to be made is some of these places in Niagara Falls, Blue Mountain, all that are following safety guidelines that aren't ultimately safe. For example, I went to Scotia Bank today. And not a single person working at that bank was wearing a mask. And hand sanitizer was not available. And you are in an air-conditioned small building, and they weren't even limiting attendance or guests or whatever, customers at this bank. So there were a lot of us. Most of, the, of us customers were wearing masks, but not one teller out of like 10 to 12 was wearing a mask. I was pretty upset about that. I went to Niagara Falls. I went through a haunted house. It was a really bad experience. I wasn't expecting it. The people weren't wearing masks. We weren't required to wear masks. They gave you gloves. That's all. No hand sanitizer, no nothing. We got touched by the scare actors. The scare actors screamed in our face. Not safe. Please tell me, Doug Ford, or anyone creating these stages and these plans, why I can now go to a bar. So we're learning that the main spread of the virus in Florida is bars and restaurants that aren't abiding by safety protocols. And also because of, you know, air conditioning units, we're learning that this could be airborne. Um, but nonetheless, you're allowing bars to open up, but not a theme park. And again, as I said in my last video, if the, people think theme park and they expect what you witnessed in its regular season with no virus going around. No, the Wonderland you're going to experience 
is going to be much different. It's going to be socially distant. So you're going to have like an app and security are going to be using that app to keep people socially distant. So it's going to show clusters of people that are forming and security will know to go there and separate people. It's going to be using the Wonderland app. You're going to be forced to download or something like that. I don't know too much about it, but you're, they have masks are required everywhere. They're going to be sanitizing the trains. They're going to be sanitizing all touch points. An employee is going to be continuously walking through queue lines that have social distancing stickers and so on and so forth. Honestly, if a bank is more dangerous than Wonderland, you know you have a problem. Wonderland seems to be one of the strictest businesses I'm hearing about that I've seen personally. For example, I work at a mall and they don't limit the attendance at the mall. There's no security at the checkpoints at the mall. There's nothing. So a mall is allowed to open with air conditioning spreading the, the virus, but a theme park outdoors with the sun and, you know, sanitizing and masks required and social distancing. Malls aren't enforcing social distancing. You should see the amount of people clustering in the food courts and all that. It, it really makes no sense to me. At the end of the day, ultimately, I just don't get why movie theaters bars, Blue Mountain, CN Tower, Ripley's Aquarium, the Toronto Zoo are all allowed to open, but Canada's Wonderland and Marineland can't. That's my opinion. I think you're going to see some action over the next two weeks, whether that be, you know, Cedar Fair again making a lawsuit announcement, or um, maybe Wonderland is just waiting for stage three to be announced, because if you look at the press conference, they they made the point like, oh, like you put your plan before the committee, the health committee, and uh, if they approve it, then there'll be some sort of thing. And he did say like even large theme parks can put forward a plan. I can confirm that Wonderland has been putting forward plans. It's very obvious. If you're even walking by the parking lot at Canada's Wonderland, you can see all the changes going on at Front Gate. Uh, there's a lot. In fact, every day there's changes now. Um, we're not going to showcase them because, uh, we're, we're, we just, uh, anyways, we're not going to showcase them <laughs> anymore. Um, but nonetheless, uh, there's changes. We know that they've been talking with the health board and, uh, I'm assuming based off of hearing rumblings that they've been scheduling every weekend and just postponing when they hear that they can't open, that they've been given the green light by the health board. Uh, and maybe Marineland has too, and that's why you saw them announce Marineland and Wonderland's been scheduling, and they're just waiting for Stage 3 to be announced. So, with that being said, there's two, there's like three case scenario that could possibly happen. They could either open next weekend, not this weekend, if Stage 3 for York Region is announced. The Health Minister of Ontario did say it'll be very similar to how we saw Stage 2 happen. So we know York Region was part of Phase 2, Stage 2, so a week later to two weeks later, however it was, I forget. That's when you'll see Wonderland potentially open. Or they're not going to open at all this summer. Or option number three, um, they're going to sue to open, <laughs> like we saw in Ohio. So there's definitely a, a, a couple of scenarios that can play out here. And... Um, I mean, there's technically a fourth situation. I, they did hint in the press conference that, you know, they will be willing to work with businesses if they wanted to operate as something different in order to generate an income. So, I mean, technically, maybe Wonderland could open up their park grounds with zero dollar admission and just parking, charge for parking, open up your park with no attractions open. Um, I mean, you could even open up your like slingshot and your um, extreme sky flyer. Um, I mean, I, I still don't get how they can't open, like, even, like, if Blue Mountain can open their mountain coaster. See, as I'm even describing one of the plans they presented, like, I'm trying to think, like, oh, you can't open a coaster. Blue Mountain's mountain coaster's open. Maybe they get away with it because the government doesn't know about all these different attractions. But regardless, but you can open up your restaurants and serve some, like, dishes that you typically wouldn't normally get at a Wonderland and have maybe like a light show on the mountain every night to attract people there. Um, th there's a couple of things they can do. And ultimately, like, I'm just so annoyed. And I know you are too. I know there's a couple of people who are like, oh, I understand this. Yeah, I understand it. Of course I understand it. But at the end of the day, when you compare it with different attractions that are allowed to open, it doesn't make sense. No matter your opinion on the issue, it really doesn't make sense. With that being said, hope you enjoyed rant number two on Canada's Wonderland and Stage 3 and Doug Ford and Ontario, blah, blah, blah. 
Comment down below your opinions and thoughts, even if you're completely against me. I'm okay with that. State your opinion, drag me, whatever. Totally here for it. Anyways, hope you had an amazing weekend. <laughs> Maybe next Monday we'll bring better news. Have a good one, guys. Bye.